internet. Coco here. Um, this is a had one job moment, okay? That is sort of how you spell my name, but not really. My name is Coco Tona, actually, in real life. But the Coco has always been consistent in the Tona. These are the letters that I could come up with. So that's my um, my bootleg way of having a set change, okay? And Chucky is illuminated for your viewing pleasure. I also have on red lipstick because it's been brought to my attention via the internet that red lipstick is highly inappropriate for dark skinned peoples. Um, shout out to ASAP Rocky. So uh, that's what I'm wearing right now, a red lipstick and a red shirt. And for your information, my um, recording camera is even red. So it's like, pfft, this is crazy. You know, I'm just over here like violating on all kinds of levels. And Chucky, look, Chucky got on the red sneakers, the red Adidas, the red Santa hat, and it's, it's April. <laughs> it's crazy over here, right? Anyway, this video is about cloud storage. I do want to give a shout out though on this video because the shirt that I have on is by um, a company called Onus Tees. And what they have done is sent me a shirt that says raise your kids, right? So if you have them, do it. What I'm going to talk about today is cloud storage. If you've ever had a Gmail account or a Yahoo account, or a Hotmail account, that's really cloud storage. So whenever you've sent somebody an email and it's existing on a server somewhere that's not downloaded to your computer, that information is being held somewhere and then that server and that's like in the cloud somewhere. I particularly like Dropbox. It's something that I've been using for a long time. Uh, with Dropbox, also with my Note 2, I was given uh, two years of uh, free 50 gigabytes of storage space. They do give you um, a, an allotment, like a free allotment. I don't recall exactly what that was. I think it was like five gigs. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. But I think it was like five gigs. And then if you refer your friends, you get a certain amount of gigs. If you attach additional devices, like if you attach your tablet, another phone, another computer, um, you know, uh, whatever devices that you have, you get more storage space in that sense. And it's actually pretty reasonable. But I do think that um, Google seems to be leading the way in terms of like affordability. I think iCloud is good in the sense that if you're someone that has like an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod, a MacBook Pro, um, you know, just all these iPad mini, whatever, all these different Apple devices, I think it's just much, much easier to streamline everything through iCloud in that sense. Um, but I will say that Dropbox is also pretty good too because Dropbox, it is, you know, multi-platform in the sense that I have my Dropbox on my, um, my MacBook Pro. I also have it on my Android phones and everything is just pretty seamless. One great thing about cloud storage is that recently my computer exploded out the back. And while I can turn on the computer and I can retrieve information, it just concerns me. So I haven't been doing that too often unless I like absolutely have to retrieve something. But... And I don't know that I really want to replace the battery. I don't know how much I care about that. I mean, the reason being is that anything um, in the past couple of years or so that has been super, super important to me that I really, really needed, like any info, I've had on the cloud. So I didn't even really have to do a proper backup because programs weren't so much an issue for me. Um, I just needed to make sure that I had information like documents and images and um, Photoshop files, things like that. And that information is all on the cloud. So once I logged into this computer, uh, the only thing I had to transfer over were like, you know, were documents and files and that's it. I didn't have to go through any other type of backups. I mean, in my case, it just wasn't even necessary. So I do recommend that you back up your computer. So don't use it necessarily in the same way that I did, but it actually just worked out for me where I didn't have to be so bothered with um, the backups because anything that I needed, I had as, as on my hard drive anyway. So it was a very, very seamless. I logged into Dropbox on my new computer, pulled everything down that I needed or left it there as I needed it. And that's it. A lot of these virtual drives allow for sharing. So um, in my case, though, I had a very negative experience in that, and this is a very good lesson learned. I have um, all these wonderful, wonderful movies uh, with Oscar nominees from a certain year that's current, that's 2013. And I always, every year, watch the best pictures, and that's what I do. And so I shared this file with about six people. It was a private folder where they could see the file where it had like all these, you know, these copies of the, um, the DVD screeners. And when I did that, one of the people that I share with is not as quite as internet savvy as I had expected. So what they did was they moved the files from my virtual hard drive from the cloud in the, the Dropbox cloud to their phone. And when their phone told them that they had ran out of space, they deleted them. So they moved them and deleted them, not realizing that they were not copying them from the file from the cloud. They were removing them from my cloud space. So all these these um, files had to be retrieved in some kind of way because I didn't have them on my, my, my computer. I didn't really need to. I was trying to sort of like, you know, sort of share the wealth a little bit. And um, all these files got deleted, and I ended up not really getting to see Les Miserables, which I don't think I would want to see that anyway. I'm not really into musicals unless it's like Dreamgirls. Um, and I didn't get to see Lincoln, but I'm going to see that because I finally did go ahead and retrieve that. 
But I haven't seen Beasts of the Southern Wild, so if you have a copy of that, like, holler, let me know. Um, but anyway, I just say all that to say that I think also another thing about cloud storage is people get super, super like paranoid about it and feel like, you know, I've got all my information on the cloud and people are going to steal it and whatever. I mean, if you've been comfortable thus far using a, like your Gmail account or your Yahoo account, then I don't see why cloud storage should have you any more like heightened or paranoid than anything else. You know, anything could get hacked. But most of us, we ain't about nothing. I mean, you know, most of us ain't, ain't nobody worried about us. Then no, no one has a file on me. I'm not really doing anything particularly criminal or interesting. And if I am, it's very, very low level. Like I've had a running tab at a bodega. Like that's the extent of my crimes that I really probably owe two or three bodegas like in the hundreds of dollars because I'm going to pay you back one of these days. And they're not worried about it. It's just sodas. But, you know, they're not like running after me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm hiding in plain sight, I suppose. I'm still saying hi and they still look really nice to me, you know. I've had a couple cabbies give me like free rides for nothing, you know, things like that, but I don't owe anybody anything. The downside to cloud storage though, if you don't have it synced with your um, with your hard drives, which is, you know, of course your tablets, your phones, or, um, you know, your computers, is the downside is that if you don't have it synced, then you need to have an internet connection. So cloud storage requires some kind of a Wi-Fi data connection, internet connection, in order to access all the files. So you need to make sure that that's also in place, okay? So guys, that's really all I have to say right now. I hope that that was very useful. My phone is ringing and it could be important. It's probably not. And I'll talk to you guys soon.